I am ashamed and embarrassed. How you can abandon our one and only child in a sick bed in the United States to come home just to assume the position of the first lady. But Chris, I did not abandon our child in the hospital. I left him under the care of Christiane and my personal doctor. Oh, and you are proud to say it. You are proud to say that you left our child in the hands of strangers. Hey, come on! Come on, Chris. My elder sister and my personal doctor are no strangers. Oh, I see. Okay. But... Tell me one thing, Chris. Why are you so upset and uncomfortable with my homecoming? Oh no, the reverse is the question. Why did you abandon our only child in the faraway land of the United States to come back home to assume the office of the First Lady? That, my dear, is the question. Chris, don't be unreasonable and selfish. Come on. I've lost that child for over two years now since you assumed the position of the first citizen of the state. Why must I remain away throughout your tenure as the first citizen of the state? That, my dear, is the million dollar question that you must answer. To be a mother or to be a first lady? So what? You've, you've, you've nursed our child for two and a half years. Brenda, my little angel, you give me so much joy and comfort like no other woman can. I wish you'd be mine forever. I'll always be yours as long as you're mine. I find so much comfort in your arms, Chris. And I'll make you comfortable for the rest of your life. Okay, but you have to remain faithful to me. You must be faithful to me. What about your wife? First lady, I had she's back. What happens to me now? Brenda, you are my little angel. And no one can take you away from me. Not even my wife. What if she comes to know? You know, this relationship is more than a year, and it's bound to leak. She won't find out. She won't. Let's just keep it low, all right? As secret as possible, all right? From what I gathered, I heard she's tough and bound to raise hell if she knows about this relationship. Brenda, don't worry about my wife. She won't find out, okay? Just forget about my wife. Mm -hmm. So are you telling me that Brenda has not come up to now? Harry, I have told you she hasn't. Maybe she's gone to read in the academic area, so why don't you go and check there? We've gone there. We've checked everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. Then maybe you should check back tomorrow morning then. And you guys, I really, really need to go to bed now. See you guys tomorrow, okay? Night, night. Thanks. Good, Good night. night. But, for God's sake, where can she be now? Are you coming from at this time of the night? And who are those men that dropped you off? Too many questions, Harry. One question at a time. Answer my question. Where are you coming from? And who are those men? Okay, okay. 
I went home. I'm just coming from home. Those men, they are my father's friends. Lie! That's a big lie! Because I went to your house several times today and you were not at home. And how can you tell me those, those thugs that brought you here are your father's friends? What's up with you, Harry? Okay, you go about looking for me as if I'm lost or something. Don't you have anything to do other than you following me about? Come on, grow up. Shut up. Uh, are you mad? Take it easy. Huh? Uh. How dare you talk to me like that? Come on, Harry. You have to take things easy, okay? Harry, you will dare raise your filthy hands on me, right? Brenda! Brenda, come back here! His answers. Hello. Hello, please. Can I be on to His Excellency? This is the First Lady, Mrs. U.K. Morgan. May I please know who's on the line? Jesus Christ. Hello? 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 haven't said anything to me about that girl who called this morning. Who is she? Who is she? Yes, who is she? She could be anybody. You know how it is. Anybody could have called me. My numbers are not a secret. You know who she is. Chris, she couldn't be anybody. I'm sure that girl is someone very close to you. I feel it deep in my bones. I mean, my mind tells me that. Well, your mind can tell you anything. That is for you to contend with. I don't know who she is. Chris. If she's anybody, why did she exclaim and cut off the line when she heard my identity? You tell me that. Like I said, that is for you to worry about. I don't know why she did it. Right now, I have a headache. And I'm going to bed. You're coming? I said to you that I'm, I'm always careless with my phone and now that my wife is around she can easily pick up my phone and check on my messages and my, take my calls but you wouldn't listen. What would I have done? I wanted to talk to you urgently. 
You could have called my ADC James or my PA or my bodyguards. That's what you used to do. Why did you change it? I'm sorry, sweetheart. There's nothing I tell my wife now that will make her change her mind. Now she believes that you're my girlfriend. And you gave yourself away when my wife picked up the phone and you cut off the phone. Now she knows you're my girlfriend. Now there's nothing that I say now that will make her stop. She's just raising hell. I said keep it low, Brenda. I told you to stay low. Honey, I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Just don't want her to raise hell, that's all. Honestly, Liz, I'm so very worried. again. Liz, I have finally realized why Morgan is so upset over my homecoming. Why? Men can be so unreasonable and heartless. Take it easy. Take it easy, Yuki. And be careful. No, Liz. No. I am going to make damn sure that I follow this thing to the very end. And when I do find out, Morgan, I am going to show you the meanest side of me for cheating on me all this while. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. Believe what? Brenda is cheating on me. I'm dating the governor. Can you beat that? Why do you have to? Huh? The news is all over the campus. You seem to be the only one who've not had Harry. But Brenda and the governor. It doesn't make sense. What is it? Is it the money? Her father is a cabinet member of the state, a commissioner for what, for God's sakes. What does this girl want? <laughs> that is not enough. All right? The governor has mega bucks to spend. The commissioner ain't got no penny. So, all this money she's been doling around and the exotic cars she's been entering, man, are gifts from the governor, is it? What do you think, Harry? Exactly what do you think? Use your head and figure it out. I hate that man. I swear to you, I hate that man. I never liked him for once, Dr. Morgan. I hate him! This has just made matters worse, man. All right, just relax, okay? Easy, man. Don't take this too hard on this. Can you tell me not to take it hard? No, what are you saying here? Somebody thinks he can use his position to just destroy small girls. Are you telling me to take it easy? 
<laughs> if he thinks he's gonna do this on my girl, he has something coming up for him, man. I swear, I'm gonna use everything in my powers to expose that son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Just take it easy. Hey, peace. How far now? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. How far now? I've, I've been to your room and I was told I'll find you here, but where's Brenda? I've been looking all over for her. Brenda? I'm, yes! I thought you knew she traveled to Abuja yesterday for a wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I forgot. All right, yeah, yeah, she told me. But I I didn't know it was yesterday. She's gone. Yeah. I, um, peace. You know what? Could we, like, see sometime today, maybe in the evening, after classes and all that? Um, maybe okay. we could just have a chat. Okay. That'll be fine. All right. So where would you be? Um, I'll be at... Say it's the other three, the three or the other three. Okay, time? 5 30. You're about. Is it okay? I'll meet you, I'll meet you then. Right. Thanks, sir. Alright, so. Thank you. Peace. You're Brenda's roommate and friend. Please, I'm asking you to just tell me the truth. Harry. Harry. Why do you allow rumors to come into your relationship, eh? Why? Peace, please. I know I can count on you, okay? You know now, Brenda and I have been through thick and thin together. I am begging you, please, just tell me the truth. <sighs> Harry, I have warned Brenda severally to stop the affair, but she wouldn't listen. I thought you knew because everybody on campus knows. Oh, how could I have known? How could I have known now? It's Harry now. There's no way I could, know, I could have known such a thing and just be quiet about it. Brenda is virtually a government house property. She and the governor are always seen around in government lodges at every other place. Damn! 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 See, relax, please. See, cars from the government house are always coming to pick her up and drop her back. The story is all over, man. I warned her, but she said I was jealous of her achievements. Hey, much. Look, please just check out this kind of disgrace now. Check this kind of embarrassment. On campus! That bastard is screwing the living daylights out of my baby's ass, man! Please, please, don't say I told you. Count yeah. me out. Please, just count me out. Thanks, thanks. See you later. Okay. Just take it easy, okay? Nancy. Yes, Your Excellency. I am prepared to do anything to find that girl out. I know what I have gone through with my husband. I can't just fold my arms and let some cheap opportunist take him away from me. But Your Excellency, how do you hope to go about this now? It might not be so easy because we don't even have the slightest idea or clue about her. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Nancy, I am prepared to do anything, and I mean it, anything. Your Excellency, I think I have an idea that will give us a lead. What is it? I suggest that we get one of His Excellency's special thugs and errand boys. That's if you will be willing to cooperate. Do you think they know? Definitely, Your Excellency. If they don't know, then nobody does. Sit down and feel comfortable. Thank you, ma'am. Dada, I have invited you here for a special deal. And I do hope you cooperate with me. Of course, there are a lot of benefits you derive from it. A deal with me, Your Excellency? Yes, a deal with you. And if you cooperate with me, your life will change instantly for good. Okay, what's the deal, madam? My husband is having an affair with 
a girl who I believe means a lot to him. I don't know who she is, but I know that you know who she is, being his special thorn and errand boy. This is impossible, madam. There is no such girl. Now, listen to me. You have the full information that I need, and I'm willing to pay you heavily for it. I don't know what you're talking about, madam. Young man, I'll pay you 200,000 Naira for the information. I have no such information, madam. 500,000 Naira then? Madam, I still don't know what you're talking about. I will prepare your travel papers to any city of your choice in the whole world to avoid any risk. Right? You just name it. And you'll be there. Expense free. Madam, this is a dangerous information you're asking for. I hope you understand. Besides, I told you there is nobody like that, no sort of girl like six. I, I don't know what you're talking about. One million naira then. Did you say one million, madam? One million naira and a trip to any city of your choice in the world to live in permanently. <laughs> In that case, I don't know how, where, and when do you want the information? I'm ready to give it to you. Of course, it shouldn't be here unless you want me to commit suicide. No problem, Dada. No problem at all. Um, this evening, 6 p.m., meet me at the Royal Hotels. I'll be waiting for you in the presidential suite. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you, madam. In that case, I should be expecting my one million naira in cash. Or check. You will get your one million in dollars cash. American dollars, madam. Thank you, madam. I'll be there. 6 p.m. I'll be there. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Congratulations on the death of your bodyguard. Didn't you hear me? I said, congratulations on the death of your bodyguard. You won't say anything now because you think you're very smart. But I want to tell you something. By exhibiting such ruthlessness, you're showing yourself to be, to be some sort of a, a demigod. So untouchable. But I want to assure you that the blood of people like Dada and the rest of them will weep for you. <laughs> I want you to know that Nemesis will catch up with you one day, very soon. You think I don't know what's going on? You think I don't know what's happening? I know what's going on. And I want you to know that I will definitely 
see this to the very end. And when I do, I will make life a living hell for you because you don't even know me. Truth is, I do know you. going to class? Yeah, I'm up for lectures. Alright, um, please. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of guys, two guys that just saw that came down. Uh-uh, Harry, you forget so soon now. Those are the government house talks. The same ones that came to drop Brenda off the other night. I thought as much. Really? You came to take her out? What else do you think? They even gave me a note to give to her, so if I get to class, I'll just give it to her. Can I see the note? No, no. Please, just... Okay. Now you have confirmed it, Abby. <laughs> this is just the chance I've been waiting for. What do you mean? And what chance are you talking about? Not to worry. Thanks a lot, okay? Have a nice class. Right, right. Please don't tell Brenda I came in, okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Hey, Jim, what's up, man? What's up, <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> you will not believe this. I went to Brenda's room and she was not around. Guess who I saw? Who? The government house dogs. Those ones that dropped her now, they were leaving. And I went to meet Peace. She said they gave her a note to give Brenda. Guess what the note says? The governor asked Brenda to meet him at Hama Hotels. <laughs> I'm a hotel. You serious? Yo, that Dr. Morgan doesn't know what stuff I'm made of, man. How? His ass is whooped. What are you up to, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really understand, Harry. Tell me, bro, you Um, thank you. I'd like to book for a room in this hotel, preferably Executive Room 1. Executive Room 1.
I'm sorry, sir. Executive room one is on reserve. But you may have either room two or four, sir. No, no. Room two and four are not my favorites. When is your guest expected? Sometime tonight, sir. Then I guess it's possible I could have the room for a couple of hours. That's room one, I mean. See, I'm hosting a female friend. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we don't do that here. It would be violating our hotel ethics. What's your name, young lady? Ada. Ada will be. Mm. That's a very lovely name, you know. Thank you. Ada, I just... Just for like two hours tops, okay? I'll pay you in full. Okay, sir. Since you said you'll be staying for two hours, okay? I'll let you have the room. But, sir, you must vacate as promised, please. That's no problem. That's no problem. Thank you very much. Um, sorry, Ada. Could I possibly go see the room and come back? And I'll pay you when I come down because I've not been there for quite some time now. All right? I hope the room is still good. Yes, you can be sure of that, sir. Our own facilities are about the best here in Victoria Island. That's yeah. good. The bear hope will take you there in a moment. Thank you. Okay, come over. Yeah. Our king, take this man to executive room one and let him take a look. So let's go. I'm not entirely satisfied with what I'm seeing here. Okay, can I see the opposite room? Room two? Yes, room two. All right, uh, just give me one minute. Let me run downstairs and get the keys. All right, do that quickly.
the order. Hi. Can I have that um, room one again, please? That same room. Yes, please. Okay. Here. Thank you. Thanks. I have to handle this right. This is some dangerous stuff here. Yeah. But now how do we go about the rest? I have suddenly realized just how suicidal this whole setup could be. Mm, that does not bother me at all. I must see to the end of this thing. You know what I'm thinking? I will, I, will, I will process this film, make duplicates of it, maybe like two duplicates, okay? Just to be on the safe side. Now the problem is, who will duplicate the film? It's not just anybody, but one who will treat the job with strict confidence. Mm. I've actually thought of this guy, I don't know if you know him, uh, Benga. Sure. Benga appears to be 75% trustworthy. That's it. Then if we give this tip to Benga, he duplicates it. All right? I'll try and find a way to set up a meeting with the first lady. Strike a deal with her. You never can tell. This woman might want this thing. The problem is how to meet the first lady face to face. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. But I'm going to explore every avenue just to see the first lady. This is my fight. Hot boy. Oh my. oh my god, this is hot. <laughs> you know, you're sure the real pal, man. Yeah, <laughs> this man. is a hell of a great job. <laughs> Mega, thanks a lot, man. Okay. Yeah, this is a hit. We can't wait for this tonight. Wow, Mr. Mega. Yeah, clean job. Yeah, <laughs> I can't thank you enough, man. I'm grateful. Anytime, any so day. Thanks a lot. Oh, the yellow nigga. Oh, this is funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, nigga, man. I remember. Shit. I sure don't joke with this. Oh, you can't joke. You know, cool with that. I have to quickly. Thanks, man. Hey. I appreciate it. Yeah. Same here. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. Yeah. yeah, we'll watch your back for you. So long, guys. Any day. So long. Anytime, any day. <laughs> it's not fun living in this way. So much bloodshed every day. Are you happy living in this way? Are you scared of what you say? Hello? Can I be on to the First Lady, Mrs. UK Morgan? This is the First Lady's ADC. Who are you and why do you want to speak to Her Excellency? Don't bother about the identity. Just hand over the phone to her. I have no time to waste. This is really important. You can't jump protocols. This is the First Lady's private line. Well, sorry for jumping protocol, okay? Just hand over the goddamn phone to the First Lady and tell her the man who knows everything about the husband's mistress want to have a word with her. Hello? This is the first lady on the line. Who are you? Don't bother about the identity, Your Excellency. But listen carefully now. Do you want to know everything about your husband's mistress? Yes, of course. Then I'm the man you're looking for. I'm the one who knows all about it. I also have a videotape of what she and your husband do in secret places. How, how did you come in contact with that? <laughs> no, no, madam. I think the question should be, how can you get it? 
Not how did I get it. Okay, so how do I get it then? Good. Just tell me where, when and how and I'll get it to you. You can come over to my office tomorrow morning by 10 a.m. I'll be expecting you if that's convenient for you. Sure it is. Okay, um, please, uh, what's your name, please? Uh, so that I can ask my security operatives, my aides, everybody to expect you. So that they can let you come in to see me. Your name. Don't bother about my name. For now, I shall be known and identified as the video man. That's brilliant, Harry. Hello? All right, send him in immediately. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Let's sit down. Thank you, sir. Now, let's get it straight about this guy that has the governor's and Mr. Uh, videotape. Yes, I. I was in my office yesterday when this guy and his friend came to me with a videotape to dub. <laughs> Sir, it was while I was previewing the tape that I realized with a huge sense of shock that the tape contained the governor and a lady's love making act in a hotel room. Can you describe the girl and what she and the governor wore in the video too? They were practically naked under the bed sheet. This girl is, she's a young girl of about 20, fair. This is crazy. And the guys who said you don't know them? <laughs> Not from Adam, sir. Yesterday was my first time of meeting with them. Although, they know me quite all right because of my popularity in the movie world. Sir, I asked after their names. They said it wasn't necessary. In fact, I secretly wanted to dub one copy of the tape for the governor's attention. But these guys were on guard to see that nothing of such was done, sir. <sighs> Can you describe this guy and his friend? Yes, I can. I... This guy is tall, lanky. Um, he's a young guy. In fact, his friend is, is almost his height too. And the two of them are, they are young. Any other thing about these two guys that may be useful? Let me see. Uh, yes, sir. From their discussion, I gathered they are university students. Thank you, Mr. Benga. Oh. Uh, we may call you from time to time when you need advices. Hmm? Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I'm always available. Anytime, any day, sir. Uh, let me see if I can. Talk to the governor so you he will hear from you directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. I guess he may have something for you. Oh, <laughs> that will be fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Benga, uh, came to see someone? Oh yes, I, I came to see a friend. Good morning. Morning. Well, well, so long. Have a nice day.
Should I go back and inform the ADC that the video boy is here? He probably may have come to see the governor. Or maybe the first lady. Well, what's there to see the ADC about again? Already, I have struck my deal and made good money. It's no longer my business to tell them where to find the boys. Yeah. I'm out of here. So tell me about this girl who's going out with my husband. Honestly, madam, I'd rather you see the tape. Because I believe once you watch the tape, it will answer most of your questions. And how much will it cost me to get the videotape? $10,000. Come on, young man, that's too much. Do you know how much that is? I will pay you $3,000. Okay, madam. Because I know you're a very busy woman, I don't want to waste your time. Let's strike a balance here. $5,000, and that is my final price. Okay, so we we'll settle for five thousand dollars. When do I get the videotape? Or do you have it here? <laughs> no, of course not. I will deliver the tape to you as soon as I can confirm my five thousand dollars is in my account. It will not be paid into your account because I'm sure you'll disappear the moment the money is confirmed to be in your bank account. I want a face-to-face -face deal. That's good. That's good. All right, Your Excellency, just tell me where and when. Yeah. Um, I, I will be leaving for Abuja in another two hours to attend um, the conference of governor's wives. I will be back in, yeah, next week, Wednesday. So, um, let's fix it for 12 noon next week Thursday at the Grand Hotel. How about that? Fine by me. But how do I know your room number when I arrive at the hotel? You will have to call me on Wednesday night to find out. Meanwhile, my ADC, Nancy here, will give you 50,000 naira so that you can book a room for yourself when you get to the Grand Hotel. So when you call me on Wednesday night, you just let me know what room you'll be in. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better arrangement. So good. Nancy here will go with you and give you the 50,000 Naira for your logistics. All right, Your Excellency, thank you. Do have a nice flight. Thank you. Permission to carry him. Yeah, Nancy, and watch him closely. James, from the description of this, your videotape uh, editor, it is obvious that that recording was made during the last, uh, my last meeting with Brenda at the hotel. Yes, yes, yes. James, I want that boy found and dealt with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Sir. That boy must be found and dealt with before that tape falls into the hands of my wife or anywhere dangerous. Yes, yes, yes. And that hotel, James, that hotel, everybody in that hotel must be investigated and dealt with for betraying my confidence in them. This tape falls into the hands of the opposition or my wife. He can spell doom for me and can get me out of this office. I understand, sir. We swing to action immediately, sir. Immediately means now, James. All right, sir. I want results, James. Right. 
Suleiman, this is ADC James from Government House. I need four of your boys for an urgent assignment. So please send them immediately to my office. Make sure, make sure you include an inspector among the four that will lead the team. Shut up! I need crack detective, not just policemen. Right. Now you must start your investigation at the hotel where the video covering was done. Yes, sir. Question the hotel manager and I arrest the receptionist who was on duty on the evening shift of the detail of this map. Yes, sir. And were you arrest her? Take her down to the government house police post and wait for me. This case can't be handled by any other police station outside here. You understand? Yes, sir. No problem, officer. All I need to do is to double into the duty roster and I know the receptionist that day. On the 13th, you said? 13th of this month. Okay. Check who was on duty on the 13th. 13th Evening, sir. yeah. That was the one, sir. Okay, that makes it nice. She's the one on duty that night. So you were the receptionist who was on duty on that day? Yes, sir. You have to call with her to the station for questioning. Questioning? What have I done, sir? Why are they arresting me, sir? Why? Nobody, nobody's arresting you. All they need is just to go through uh, the double into the case, the incident that happened on the evening of the 13th. You understand? That's all. They will release you. Don't be afraid. Go with them. I'm with you. Go with them. Come over. Huh? Young lady, you know Executive Room 1 is on the reserve for His Excellency. Why did you have to give her the room on short time? That is not what you think at all. The boy insisted on using the room, sir. Insisted it was his favorite. Then I finally agreed. <laughs> then he insisted on inspecting the room, sir. And I bear hope to keep there. Then he asked I bear hope to let him see you too. And I bear hope came down to the reception to pick the kids and leaving him upstairs. So in the end, he refused to check in and he left. So he didn't use the room at all? No, sir. So he didn't. He said he changed his mind. But one thing that made me suspect something about him that was the fact that he was the first guest to put for that same executive room one the next morning. You mean he booked for the same room the following morning? <laughs> yes, sir. But he didn't stay for 10 minutes and he paid in full. And 10 minutes after he checked it, he came back to the reception and submitted the keys back to me and promised to be back shortly, sir, but he never did. Something is interesting. Now, was it holding anything? Yes, sir. Each time he was with a briefcase. See. Now this guy, did he appear like someone who ordinary would want to stay in such accommodation? So if he asked me, I wouldn't say he looked to me the type to book for a seat of that class. 
At first, I felt suspicious, yes. But I couldn't make anything out of my suspicions. I had to let it go. I'm sure he was paying for it. I don't know, but he appeared to be a student. Now, I want a full description of this guy, how he looks, his age, his height. Everything you know about this guy, now! Sir, he's about six feet. In his, in his mid-twenties. Has a caramel skin color. A side bird and a mustache. Has a dark wavy hair. So I don't know. I don't know this man from Adam. I don't know him, sir. Now, tell me one thing, Frank. From the description of the governor's attire on that day in the alleged video, his SLC confirmed that the video coverage was done during his last vis visit to the hotel on the 13th. Yes, sir. Now, how these guys got to know about the governor's appointment schedule with Brenda on that same day still baffles me. me. Frank. Sir. I want you to think carefully and tell me whom you have told this to. I told this to nobody, sir. On your second, you sure he did not tell anyone? Yeah, yes, I can swear that he did not tell anybody, sir. Because we were in it together. And he also knows the implications. Alright, now tell me, what happened on that day? How did he go? On that day, we went to Brenda's room at the university campus to inform her. We met her roommate who told us that Brenda was not around. And so we dropped a note. So what was the content of the letter? The letter said that His Excellency wanted to see Brenda. What for what, my friend? I can still remember, sir. Brenda, you are to meet with His Excellency at the Executive Room 1 of the Yama Hotels, Victoria Island, on Failingly this evening at 6 p.m. Damn fool! Are you mad? Why did you have to do that? I... I Shut up! Now I know where things went wrong. I am deeply... Shut him up there! You must pay for this. Now get out of my office! Get out of my office! the girl. Randa's roommate. Inspector Adams, CID Force Headquarters. Young lady, you have to come with us to the station to answer some questions with the police. Well, sir, what have I done now? Shut up! Get in the car now! Move! Get the car! Hey. Sir, we got the girl. She's presently in our custody. Good. Did you have any problem with the university authority? Mm, not at all, sir. Very good. So, interrogate her thoroughly to find out if she connived with anyone to do the video coverage. Yes, sir. Just any information that may be useful. Yes, sir. You can go. Are you ready to talk now? I said I didn't read the note. Honestly, I didn't. Why don't you believe me? Shut up! Who the hell would believe you? If you didn't, then who did? Because I want to know who did it and I want to know now. I think Brenda's boyfriend did, sir. Brenda's boyfriend? Yes, sir. Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, sir. On that day, after the departure of Frank and his colleague, Brenda's boyfriend came in shortly looking for Brenda. I told him that she wasn't around. I even told him that some people came to look for her but she wasn't around. And that they gave me a note to give to her. He collected the note from me. He read it, he gave it back to me and left. He read it? <laughs> What nonsense are you talking about? That Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, sir, she has. The description according to Peace 
Talis with the same guy who was at Amas Hotel and Benga Studio. So, Brenda's boyfriend is behind all this. Now move fast, Inspector. Close him on him and arrest him in the next 48 hours. Now, go. Yes, sir. What is going on, Frank? Now listen to me, young lady. Don't let us get rough with you. This is beyond what you think. We have orders from the top. Now tell us the name and the room number of this your boyfriend. But why are you doing this to doing me? Doing what? Now listen to me and listen really good. I ask you for the very last time. I won't repeat myself again. What is the name and the room number of this your campus boyfriend? I want it now! Talk to, I ask you, what is... Talk to me! His name is Harry. He stays in Lugas or room four. That's good. Already after us. Hi. How did they get to know? Huh? This is dark too early. Man, it means I have to be on the run, man. I have to be on the alert 24 hours. Hurry. We have to do something fast. Very fast before those people close in on us. You know what? I'm gonna give you one of those tapes. Alright? Just just have that one of it. In case of any uncertainty. Come on, Harry. What was that thing are you talking about here? You will succeed. Alright? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yes, James. Yes, Sir Excellency. We have finally found the mysterious video man. And who is he? His name is Harry. Brenda's boyfriend in the university. Brenda's what? Boyfriend. Brenda's what? Brenda's boyfriend in the university. Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, Your Excellency. James. Brenda has a university boyfriend? <laughs> well, well, well. Brenda has a university boyfriend. Okay. I'm listening. It was a boy that already not written to Brenda. And his description conforms with that of the hotel receptionist and that of Benga, the film editor. So, where is the boy on the team? He's at large, but he won't last out there. My mate stormed the university to search for him to no avail, sir. Your man did what? Went into the university to search for him. James. You are using the police? Yes, yes, yes. You are using the police? This is a scandalous affair! And if it is not properly handled, you kill all of us from office! Oh, James, common sense, James! Common sense should tell you, you never use the police, you use the dogs! 
always used to talk. Oh, get out of my office again with that boy. 48 hours, James! 48 hours! It's no fun living in this way. So much bloodshed every day. Are you happy living in this way? Are you scared of what you say? Is this what we came to do? Instead of loving, we're killing each other just because you have to rule. Everybody has to die for you. Do you ever remember what goes up must come down? Cause uneasy lies the head, lies the head that wears the crown. I feel my heart beat so fast, I hear the sound ringing in my head. I'm so scared how long I last before somebody shoots me dead. It's a crazy world we live in, so much hurt and so much hate. Oh, Jack, come stop these evil before we get to late. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh. It's a world living in this place. It's a national disgrace. It's a shame living in this place. When my people got no face, tell me why this has to be. So much hatred, revenge, I deal. Just because you have to rule. Someone else has to die for you. One crime to another. It goes on and on and on. Is this what we came to do? Instead of loving, we kill each other. I feel my heart beat so fast. I hear the sound ringing in my head. I'm so 